guys, Friend with Craft Scissors here with another plan with me. We're in my Erin Condren. Um, I film about a week in advance in this one. So we're doing July 16th through the 22nd. Um, I'm super excited to use this kit. It's called Nautical Shells. And it's from Sticker Monster Co. Um, I like this one because it brings in that tan color from my sand dollar. And then I love all of the teal. This dark teal is like one of my favorite colors. And I have a bow like that in my shop. So these two go really well with it. Those are in the shop. And then this is a little bit of a different format than they like usually do. Uh, but I think it'll turn out okay. So we need to get started with... Did I do? Yeah, there's the date covers. Those are the date covers. Um, I know you can't really see like the days of the week too much, but the, it's in white on there. So, and then I need date dots. So, a quick second. Okay, 16th through... Trying to find one. Oh gosh. I have like this huge stack of like date dots, and of course the first ones I grab are not the right ones. 16th. Okay, we might have to combine. 16, 122. Okay, that might work. All those together. All right. So Monday is the 16th. And then Tuesday is the 17th. So I hope you guys are doing really well. We took my son to kindergarten first third day of summer school and it went really well he knew exactly where to sit he knew who his teacher was he said hi to his principal on the way in he's such a good little boy okay then we went the 19th through the 22nd off of this sheet these are leftovers i cut out these to give elizabeth the water trackers because she like she tracks her water i don't so but she knows i always save these sheets back because i use the date cover the date dots in my other Cleaners or playing with knees. So that's why that trunk is missing. If you're like, why are your sheets so like cut up? Well, cuz <laughs> like if if you guys want the bill due stickers, put that in your note to seller and I'll give you my bill due stickers. I'll cut those out for you. So you just have to tell me. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna send like random cut up stuff if like you don't say you want it. You know what I'm saying? Cause that would be kind of gross. So I already chipped a nail pretty good, and so I'm thinking I need to go get them done. We did go in the pool yesterday and the day before, so I'm wondering if that, like, weakened it a little bit, because I know the chlorine and chemicals, and we did have to put a lot of chemicals in the pool this last time because we, we've had storms. And then I thought it was going to storm today, but I don't think it has yet. So I'm trying to do this plan with me fairly quickly. I decided to film this one during the day. Um, the day that it's supposed to go up instead of the night before because time got away from me last night when I was working on new releases I have four done so far, but my goal is usually to have eight Done for you guys just so there's variety of choices for a variety of different styles for people Because um, some people like the wide gold clips some people don't some people like glitter some people don't so I try to have a good variety So if you've noticed in my shop or like I'll put up I'll release a palm or I'll release one of those like flowers um, but not every week. I have been releasing those flowers on a, on the regular, but there won't be one of those this week. Maybe next week. So, trying to decide on that one. And then here's Sunday the 22nd. I'll line it up. I find that putting the date covers on first and then putting the headers is a lot easier. Okay, so in this one, this one is for my shop, so I put my to-dos right underneath that so oops, stuck together that doesn't really matter so the washi tape that i chose i have one from the washi tape shop which i'm excited i'm about to order from them again it takes like almost three weeks for you to get your order from the washi tape shop but it's free shipping so i don't really complain too much and then um and then with my code I get, you can get, I can get 10% uh, off on top of that. So it's not a bad deal. Plus it's like washi tape that you can't find at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Or if you don't have a Michael's or Hobby Lobby, then you're probably already buying your washi tape online anyway. Because I remember at first I was like, where do I find this stuff? My first washi tape was actually from Scrapbook Generation. Um, and... 
I think it was from We Are Memory Keepers. I think it was. It was a tube of like navy, different navy blue ones. And I went to pull one off and it just kept tearing. And so I contacted the company because I was like, it just keeps tearing every time I pull it off. And so they sent me a whole nother tube for free. And the first tube that I bought was like $12.99. But I bought it for like card making and scrapbooking. So instead of like having to cut strips of paper to glue down. I thought washi tape would be easy. That's actually how I started my washi tape addiction. It actually wasn't through planning. Isn't that kind of ironic? Okay, so every shell has, every seashell has a story. That's cute. I was like, wait, what is it doing? <laughs> I was rereading it. I was like, every sea? I was reading it wrong. And then um, I grabbed some other washi tape. I'll show you in a second. And then I grabbed some of my like samples, swaps that my friends give me. So we'll see what I end up using. That's straight. Yeah. I try to see if the gap right there to there is pretty good and it looks pretty good. So what you're hearing is my charm from Merz Charms. Okay. So full boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's enough of those. I think there's one more. Yeah, there's one more over here. We'll see if we end up using that. I don't know. All right, so we'll use this um, called a buoy lifesaver thing. I thought about making a lifesaver clip, but the problem is there's a giant hole in the middle. <laughs> it makes it very difficult to try to put a clip on it. Just saying. <laughs> and I love the I I got requests to do a shell like that. What do you call that? Is it a uh, what what kind of shell is that? I forget. The one I made is a clam shell kind of thing. And then I did make a star a starfish. I think it's a I don't know. We had one when I was a kid. You can like listen to the ocean. Is it a cockle shell? I think that's right. I don't know. When do you learn about the shell names? I don't there there was a shop at Pier 39 in San Francisco. Oh yeah, grew up in California. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, <laughs> I don't live there anymore. But there was a shop. It was the seashell seashell <laughs> shop, and I don't remember exactly what it was called. But they sold a lot of shell stuff, and I love that store. That was my favorite store to go in. Um, I used to buy shells from there all the time. My whole bathroom when I was in high school was like um, shells, and then I used to have a first. I used to wear a first finger ring, if you can believe it. <laughs> I don't really, yeah, I always had, um, let's see, from like middle school on, I always had a promise ring on this hand, and then I got a ring from Hawaii from my dad that I was wearing on this hand for a long time, and then I bought that ring um, from the seashell store, and it had like broken pieces of shell in it, it was so pretty, and then I retired that one when it started basically like getting dirty and pieces started falling out of it. Um, and then I got one with footprints on it, which I remember because I think I was still wearing it. I remember having a discussion with my mother whether I was going to wear it to my dance or not. I forget which dance it was. I don't remember if it was prom or if it was just like a winter ball. I don't know. But I was like, yeah, I'm going to wear it. It's part of who I am. Like, ah, so cringy. But like, yeah, that's how I felt about it. All right. So there's glitter headers there. And then there's glitter headers for the next one, I believe. So I don't want to do teal or blue, teal or blue. The middle is going to be what? Half boxes. I don't think it matters. I think we'll go blue. What's the full box, the full box checklist. Okay. We'll do teal with this one because the teal hearts we will do blue with this one. And that's how you decide that. No, you can decide however you want. <laughs> but I did think that the dots would go with this kit. But, um, so, been working on new releases. We've been playing with changing up our packaging a little bit. Um, talking about Etsy stuff because it's my Etsy planner. Um, I have no intentions of raising my prices. Um, I think it's like July 16th or something like that, like this week. Um, so I'm planning that Etsy is going to raise its prices um, by from three and a half percent to five percent, including shipping. So I am going to be basically out more profit and I don't make that much anyway. But um, I didn't want to pass that on to you guys as of right now because I'm basically going to see how it goes. 
um, before I decide what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm already like, I'm already not doing sales very often. And if I do, it's like one or two days just cause it gets overwhelming. Like I've been in the, the sales that are four days long and that's great, but I feel like, to be honest, if you've seen my planner, the first day we get a ton of sales and then it trickles off. And that's why when I came up with the planner goodie sale, it's only two days because there's like, you just waste a lot of time advertising and you're not making the orders anymore, if that makes sense. I don't know. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. So I need to put in the washi. So I'm gonna use this one. This one's the one from the washi tape shop that I was talking about. I chose this one. It does have kind of a bright orange red in it, but I like the fact that it had the different kinds of shells and they're all in blue. So that's why I picked it. But I am aware that there is some like orangey red that's not, there's, I mean, there's that red, but that's like a maroon. And this one's more of like an orangey red. So it's a little different, but I like it. This one came in a set of three from the washi tape shop if you're trying to find it on their site. It was in a washi tape sets. I've gotten this as a set and I did the galaxy one as a set, which I really need to get another galaxy kit from somewhere because I didn't end up using it. Um, I haven't used the galaxy washi. Okay, so then I have to decide between this one and this one. And I'm thinking I don't want to do the glitter because it's right next to that glitter. So I'm going to skip that. I think I'm going to use this one next to it. I don't know what brand this one is. I think someone gave me this one. It almost feels like Scotch, but Scotch usually has their brand on the inside. This one doesn't, so I don't know where this is from. So oh, sorry. I don't know. Oh, it's got little stars. I didn't even see those. I thought it was just polka dots. Win. Love it. Okay. So probably not a lot of extra planning today. Normally I um, lay down my stickers and then I'll throw in some other functionals and stuff. I'm probably not going to do that because I'm running out of time. So I have to go pick up my son from kindergarten. He doesn't ride the bus. He's actually asked to ride the bus, but I don't want him to ride the bus. Um, that's just like my personal opinion. I never rode the bus as a kid. My brother did. Well, we rode the city bus to like go places. But my brother did ride the bus. See, I only needed a skinny strip. I want to make it lower. Yeah, we'll do it that way so it's not so weird. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to skip that teal one so it's not clashing with this teal washi. How about that? Good plan? Thanks. I thought of it myself. So, um, my brother did, but I never did. I forget why. I think I just always had a ride. Well, yeah, because let's talk about that. So, in elementary school, we lived close enough to the elementary school. We walked to school. And then... In middle school, my friends' grandparents and parents in my neighborhood, because I had, I like had neighbor kids that I went to school with. So I went to school with um, a girl across the street and the girl next door. And so their parents and grandparents would like rotate when they picked us up, because my mom um, worked, so she couldn't come pick us up from middle school. And then um, high school. My freshman year, my brother was a senior, so he drove me. And then after after school was sometimes a struggle because sometimes he had to go to work or he had soccer practice. Um, so I think some there was occasionally that I had to walk the two and a half miles home. I know, yeah, <laughs> you know, uphill both ways, but <laughs> I'm kidding. It wasn't that bad. Plus, it was like it's California. I mean, it was kind of bad like in the summer, but like when it started, because we went, we would go to school all the way until like middle of June so it would get pretty hot but that's the only time that I was like this is too hot um and then for a while there my mom and dad would pick me up after school after my brother graduated uh, my mom picked me up and drove me to school for the most part but I did walk home sometimes now middle school eighth grade though because eighth grade I wasn't with those girls anymore their grandparents like I didn't go to that school anymore and that one, I did ride to school with a girl. She lived across the street for a little bit, um, but she drove me nuts. So I um, I decided to walk home instead of ride with her, <laughs> which apparently was really awkward for my mom. Like, apparently her mom called my mom and was like, um, why isn't she riding with us anymore? And my mom was like, well, 
I don't know, I guess our girls just, you know, don't get along anymore, something like that. Because I didn't really tell, I mean, my mom knew why, but she's not going to go wrap me out to this girl's mom. So, I'm sure that was kind of awkward for my mom, but it was like, she kind of had to let me make my own decision on who I wanted to be friends with and if this was a good person or not, not just, but you need a ride. And so, there was a boy, um, we lived in like a court and then he lived in like the court next to us. So, for the most part, I had a friend on my way home, like... I wasn't walking home by myself. I was walking with this other boy. I don't remember his name. I feel bad. Oh, well. So, do you guys remember how you got to school? Were you a bus rider? Or parents take you or did you walk? Mine basically changed. I like how the backgrounds on these are all different. Sometimes they're all the same. Maybe not with her kids, but I just mean kids in general. That one has the starfish. There's the ocean waves. There's, like, the coral. And I think it's, I think it's a... I think it's a cockle shell. I think that's right. I could be wrong. I don't know. It reminds me of the shells that they use in the crudes to like signal that everything's okay. Or no, to signal that they need help. That's what it is. To signal that they need help. I have a five year old. So that's why we watch the crudes. His favorite movies right now are The Rescuer, um, Down Under, and The Incredibles. And he calls, um, he now calls Superman a super instead of a superhero because in um, Incredibles, they call them supers. So that's why he does that too. I just thought that was kind of funny. Okay, we'll save the glittery one for the sidebar. I'll use the pattern one over here. I'm not trying to pattern block or color block or anything like that, so... The only thing I did is I picked teal headers to go with the teal hearts. All right, washi tape that came with the kit is this one down here. I was trying to, okay, so this side, this is the long one. This goes on this side. I'm trying to flatten it out so it doesn't shift on me. My air conditioner turned on. I'm pretty sure it's like 90 degrees outside, so it's probably why. I think I'm going to add that skinny teal washi to the top. And I think it came with, I think this was in my unicorn tube from Michael's, if you're wondering. So I think what I'm going to do is put this washi tape. Oh, I flipped it. Put this washi on this side. And then I'm not going to put the extra chunk in just yet that one because I might be using oh no that's not a full box those are headers I think I have another full box though yeah I do on this sheet I might be using that down here I don't know because I'm going to try I'm going to try in all my planners I'm going to try the whole like not putting washi in between the boxes I my this week sticker right here see that's the same color so then I want to put a chunk of too wide that's deep. okay we're gonna use a little bit of this just because these are the same color but my intention was to not do that but I don't like it when the header blends into the themes that's not I don't want it like that okay so that's the only thing I'm doing different and then I need my checklist oh I have that one one two three four five six seven oh I like that Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna go with this purple one. Normally I use up that last checklist that's left over from this sheet, but I think I'm gonna use this one. Because normally I have seven, well, normally I have eight new releases and then I have six spots to write it in. So it'd be better if I had seven. So we'll try that out. Okay, then I need a half box. Goals. Um, so important. That one. See, now that's a different color, so I don't need washi tape there. And then we'll use the half box that's left over. There's a patterned half box, which is not faded out, so I'm going to use this teal one. See, I don't mind when the boxes match the headers. Okay. Then I need have a checker. Yeah, that's it. All right, have a tracker, where are you? Okay, there's three different ones. I'm thinking, if I go with the teal, I'm gonna need to put washi down, so I don't wanna do that. So I think I'm gonna go with the tan to bring that back in. 
Yeah. We'll go with the tan one because that'll look good against that teal. If I put blue against it, it's kind of very blue over here. So I think that'll look good. Okay, and then we have this little box right here. I wonder if I should put this in. Or if I should put. Okay, hold on. Where's that extra chunk? How big are you? That won't line up perfectly. There'll be a space if I line it up with that one. Maybe? Let's try it. So it's basically going to have the gap. Yeah, it's pretty close. Okay. Let me put that right there. I like that gap right there, though. No, I don't. <laughs> Thought about it? I don't like it. Not happening. Okay, so we're going to use this cute little decorative half box. And I'm going to put... Where is it? Sorry. Nope. Where is it? Washi chunks. I'm going to grab this washi chunk. Polka dots that I already put up here. That here. Decorative half. Alright, Elizabeth, you're making me be more creative and I like it. <laughs> Instead of just putting washi chunks in between each one. I like it. Okay. So this is the extra washi. And then I like to put in Oh, I mixed up things, didn't I? I did. Because normally I've been putting these down here. I just mixed up my boxes with my things. That's funny. So my headers don't match which box I'm using. Oh well. This is actually going to be my list of to do's. So I need quarter boxes in all of those. So I'm going to grab some. It's actually, this is not going to be to do. These are my orders. So that's kind of funny. All right, so there's that one. This one up here in the middle. And then, so that sheet is all used up. And then we need tan one. That one up here. Use. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> like, I just had the sheet. And we'll put this one down here. So I messed up on my headers a little bit, but that's okay. Not a big deal. I'm gonna put this one up here because I'm gonna put the other one in the middle. So I used up that one. And we'll grab this one. We'll do a purple. That in the middle. Another blue one. Up here. Works out. Okay. So this is actually my to-do list. This is my orders. So my headers are a little messed up this week because I didn't follow what I've previously been doing. That's okay. And I still have one checklist left. And then that's a full box, habit tracker, some more quarter boxes, top three. One quarter box on that sheet. I think I already showed you the checklist. And then I need to book down the weekend manner. Oh, I just tore my K. You probably can't even see it, but I tore it. Man. You guys can't see it. Okay. If you can't see it, you don't know what's there. <laughs> there. Once it's stuck down, it doesn't matter. There's a big cut right, like, right there. You don't even know. Alright, so there's a coffee for Monday. Coffee Monday. Then we have a hump day sticker. I don't think I was being gentle enough, I guess. I don't know. Hump day sticker does not want to come up. There we go. Like, why? Put that one there. Then there's work, some functionals. Important is my goals for my orders. So I don't need those. I think that's it for that. You know what's funny is I brought in all this extra washi tape because I thought, oh, these will match. And then I was like, this tan will match. And then 
that one will match and I didn't even use any of those. Oh well. So I think I'll add the glitter washi to the top to bring in some more of that teal. I like it. Okay. So bring that in. Then I think we'll be done. Normally I put in, I think, a little bit more functionals, but I don't have time. Normally I put in a little planner for when I plan and all that kind of stuff, so. I just was working really late last night and didn't get a chance to film, so. I was like, I'll film when he's in school, and then the day got away from me. So there you go. That's my spread. I hope you guys like this play with me. Check out Sticker Monster Co. And you can use code Leslie20SMC for 20% off. And then for the clips from my shop, you can use code YouTube10 for 10% off of $5. And that's my spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Give this video a like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!